All right, people, you read the title. You know what's the deal. We're here watching the Black Adam trailer because Warner Bros. has just dropped their first trailer for the new Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie. <laughs> now, I'll be honest. When I first heard rumors about this, I was like, I wasn't sure if it was going to, you know, be received well for one uh, and, you know, didn't know if it would actually like turn out good. But I mean, if it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson and it's Warner Brothers, it'll probably be at least high enough budget to where it is good. Um, but I also don't know what to expect from it as as a movie, you know? Like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about uh, DC, the extent of my black knowledge. <laughs> what am I doing? My black Adam knowledge, not my black knowledge. <laughs> um extent of my Black Adam knowledge goes to Injustice 2 and I know that he's like I don't know pretty intimidating and intense I know he's supposed to be like a god um but I don't know that's kind of it I don't really know a lot about it so I'll probably end up seeing this movie anyway but I don't know this trailer probably just confused me <laughs> like many things do but I don't know we're gonna see what's happening with this trailer right now in 3 2 one. Okay, no, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> Black Adam. What have your powers ever given to you? I'll be honest. I I don't like that there's subtitles on this trailer. I need to find a way to take that off right now. Wait, why are they? Nope. They're on the video. They're not. They're not like settings. They're just on the video. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I like that. No, nah, let's, re let's restart that. I don't like that so far, but okay. <laughs> it's for the, the deaf audience. Black I understand. Adam. I understand. What have your powers ever given to you? Why does it look small? In my head, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has never been small. He's always been this, like, massively swole dude. So... To see, like, a form of him that's, I guess, like, pre-powers in this in this movie is, is kind of wild. Because it makes me wonder, like, dude, how much... What did he have to do to get his body to, like... If it's the case, right? How much did he have to do to get his body to, like, kind of... Or, I guess, not do to get his body to, like, shrink down to find a worse word for that. But, like... Dang, I know some people be, like, starving and stuff to, like, make themselves super skinny and scrawny and stuff, but, like, he was already huge. Like, jeez. Nothing but hearty. I was a slave until I died. Mm. Then I was reborn a god. I didn't know he was reborn, like he already died or something. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Before I even let the action play out, I'm assuming he's going to turn around and kick everybody's ass in this room. But why is it always that when there's like a god or whatever, somebody with magic powers, everybody's like, you know what? When in doubt, just shoot them. And it's like, you ever question the fact that maybe they can't be killed with gunfire because <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> They see it has no effect. I kneel before no one. Ooh. The effects look cool. In this world. <laughs> heroes. Ooh. What? Was that Adam? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was that a... Oh, what's his name? Oh, my God. He looked just like he did in Injustice 2. And I hated how people played him in Injustice 2. They just spam the crap out of his moves. Oh, I forgot his name. Crap, I forgot his name. Oh, that's going to piss me off so much. God of... Something, man. Ah, it was with the helmet. It was with the helmet. See, that looks like Adam. I don't know why 
he has like a Deadpool thing going on with like an all black head and white eyes. I don't understand that. Um, I was about to say Falcon. That is so wrong. Um, I've definitely seen them before. I just can't remember. I feel like they referenced them in uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow or something like that. Oh, this person's name. I can't remember. Oh, my God. I can't tell who that is. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the way that looked was weird. My vision has shown me the future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Ooh. Or you can be its savior. We all love a good anti-hero story. Woo! That's up to you. Hey. Catch a rocket. Got the rocket. Yo, no, 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 no. Wheel that back. Wheel that back. Wheel that back. What the crap? Bro, that effect. That transition was seamless. Behind you. Yo. It would have been cooler if, like, the rocket was still in shot. Or, like, it had just came into frame. And right at that teleport, you see him, like, you know, it goes into his hand or something, but bro. Whew. You just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. <laughs> okay, that was just un un unnecessarily bizarre. I wasn't paying attention to the music at all, but okay. Okay, Warner Brothers, October looking looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Um, I'm obviously because I'm not a DC guy. I don't understand many of the references or hints that they're dropping in this trailer. Obviously, the trailers that end up being released after this are way more uh, way more open, I guess. Like they reveal a lot more of the movie as more trailers get released, obviously. They get longer and they just kind of get more uh <laughs> I guess more detail oriented, like releasing even more and more plot details. This part about, you know, he was killed being reborn at God and his son sacrificed his life. Maybe that's how he was um reborn. That might be like, you know, the first like 5 minutes. Uh I don't. I also don't anticipate this to be a long movie either. I kind of anticipate this to be like barely two hours, like barely, and that'll make it like maybe an hour thirty-five, hour forty because of credits. I don't think this should be a very long movie, especially because it's like, well, he doesn't see himself as a. Well, maybe he does see himself as a hero, but he just kills. And maybe he saves the world, maybe he doesn't. I guess that's like the main dilemma of the movie. Why was he brought back? And then what will he do with his newfound strength? Even though somebody considered his newfound strength to be... Now, I kneel but... What? Nah, that wasn't the part. <laughs> that wasn't the part. Um, they said like nothing but heartache or something like that, right? Nothing but hearty. Yeah, but then this is making me wonder why the heck is he in like a stasis pod as he was brought back a god? That made me think it was a mystical thing that gave him power, but this is making it look like another one of these soldier, not soldier necessarily, but one of these experiments that, you know, gave him his strength, which is a little, little confusing to me, but that's also because I like, you know, don't understand it fully. This is a bad frame, but I really want to remember who half these people are, because I feel like I was right with Adam. Um, I don't know the name, but I think I was fine with the uh, 
the Falcon person here, you know, they were like talking to talking to uh, the Rock. But uh, My city I... this person, I swear, it's gonna hurt me so much. Somebody comment who this person is because it's bothering me that I don't know that name. Yeah, and I don't know if that was supposed to be a person either, but you know. My vision has shown me the future. Interestingly enough, this movie isn't getting me too too hyped, and that's partially because partially because my whole DC thing, uh, and maybe because I just don't have high expectations for this. It looks nice. That much is fair, but you know. I just really like this part. It's just behind you. Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. It's it's kind of funny seeing like shots of people who are obviously in fear of him because he's that powerful, but it's like you can't tell whether he wants to protect the people or whether he despises them and just would rather eradicate them. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, looks like a good movie. So, might be worth checking out later on when it when it comes out in October. So, hey, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, comment down below the things I should react to, and your thoughts on the reaction, and helping me, please, because I don't know half of what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, subscribe to the channel, click the little notification bell so you get notified of uploads, future uploads, that is. Um, subscribe to my other channels as well. Those are in the description or if you check like, I think the homepage for the channel, those are all there. Got a bunch of other channels lined up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.